It says it's going live. Talk to my mom. Will this like need a password in a little bit or at all? No, it's no So if she, if she texts and tell her to maybe go, um, Set aside. Hello? Hi. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can... Okay, great. That's all we need to know. Yep, good. Okay, Ben. There's a delay. I'm actually sitting behind it now, so. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Jerry. It's working. Yay! Bye-bye. Okay. 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 It's a uh, 20 seconds away. Thank you. 
It's my privilege tonight to welcome you here to this concert performed by the St. Croix Falls High School Jazz Band and Chamber Singers. Uh, this group is on a loop tour, uh, not a loopy tour, but a loop tour from their home in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin, uh, around to Chicago, where they performed yesterday, here tonight, up to Menominee tomorrow and then back home, a whirlwind tour, if I can tell us. If you were here five years ago, we were privileged to hear this group. They were here, uh, I've been here with us before. And one, of the main, one of the main reasons they come to Frankfurt is not only because we give them a great audience, but because the gentleman who is the director of choirs, Sean Bethlehemson, is a former student of the Reverend Dinah Hay. This was Dinah's first teaching job in St. Croix and she uh, had as her student this young man who went on to become a teacher. So it's kind of a, a family affair. And the nice thing about this is that the Benson County Community Chorus is privileged to be able to perform with these people tonight on one song. So we're really, really thrilled about that. There will be a um, free will donation taken as you leave tonight. And when you leave, we want you to go right across the hallway to the hall back there because there's going to be a reception and some good things to drink and I'm sure some good things to eat. So please join us for that reception after the concert. It's my pleasure to introduce to you now Sean Levinson. Sean. Well, thank you very much. Um, in and it is just an absolute treat to be back here. Uh, we, uh, four or five years ago, we were back, uh, we were here for the first time and I got in contact with Dinah and uh, uh, we just had a wonderful time here. We just remember all of the wonderful people that were here and the great audience we had. And, and uh, when it was time for this group to tour, um, it, I, I told our, my colleague that it was time we need to go back to to go see Dinah again and all the wonderful people in Frankfurt and areas. So thank you so very much. Um, has anybody ever been to St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin before? Yay, all right. <laughs> Three people, all right. Um, well, I, I'll let Mr. Burke kind of clarify, but Wisconsin, <laughs> I'm sorry, Wisconsin, <laughs> right? 
So, Green Bay, St. Croix Falls. We are 55, 55 miles northeast of Minneapolis, St. Paul, about 120 miles south of Superior. Um, and so, we are on a whirlwind tour over four days. We left Wednesday after school, and uh, we're in Chicago last night. Uh, we performed at Sunrise uh, Retirement Community, had a great concert there. Went to a million dollar quartet at the Apollo Theater in Chicago. And we left early this morning and are here. And tomorrow we go to Menominee, Michigan. So um, the only common denominator that we have here tonight is myself. These are all some new students that weren't here, but they all graduated and are on and yay, and doing great things. Um, and, I, and of course, uh, Dinah, uh, just a Quick thank you to Dinah. Um, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for inspiration and pushing me and doing the things that I um, thought I really wasn't really good at, but she saw a little bit of goodness in me. So, and uh, for that, I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, and it's glad that we can repay and come and see Grandma Dinah every now and then. So. <laughs> You got to put up with her all the time. I get to see her one of every four years. So, um, my colleague, Mr. Chris Berg, um, is a native of Michigan, and I'll let him talk about that a little bit. But we're so thankful that he's been um, in our school district for the last four years. Um, St. Clair Falls High School is approximately 350 students, and we have about 128 students involved in our band and choir. Um, and so, a strong music program. The kids love music. They're they're really good at it. I, of course, I'm a little biased, um, but uh, we offer a plethora of things. The groups that you're going to hear tonight are our top performing groups. The chamber singers are our audition group, um, and then the jazz band is uh, our top instrumental ensemble. So without further ado, thank you so much for having us. We are technology tonight as well. We are live streaming back home at the computer down here. So hello, St. Croix Falls. Um, and, uh, we will be able to offer this concert through live streams, so thank you for that as well. So, Mr. Chris Berg and the St. Croix Falls High School Jazz Band.
you so much. Uh, again, like my colleague said, uh, we're so happy to be here. Uh, this is an excellent experience for this group. It's fun for me as a Michigan native, as Mr. Goodmanson said, uh, Central Michigan grad, and I got to spend a lot of time uh, on this side of Lake Michigan. My mother grew up in South Haven, and her parents grew up in South Haven. Uh, my grandparents actually had a business in Mears, near near Sandy Corners, and we were met in Sandy Corners. So uh, that used to be my grandparents' business. So it's cool to see this side of Lake Michigan. Uh, again, uh, we have some very talented students here. As Mr. Goodmanson alluded to, we have a lot of participation in our major program. But not only that, you're seeing some some of our finest sports captains, uh, debate team kids. National Honor Society, the list goes on and on and on with this group, and we're so thrilled to show off their talents. Uh, you just heard Spunky, a Neil Hefty piece written for Count Basie Band, and we'll get back to Count Basie later in the program. Uh, the next three you'll hear are a little more familiar. We've got uh, what are you, Pink Panther, My Funny Valentine, and Pink Panther, and then we'll go back to Count Basie later. Hope you enjoy the next three.
share from you know from town to town people we don't even know just something that connects us all and I, I really hope that one day I can share that same privilege and it's been so fun these last four years at St. Croix Falls uh, to just grow with these kids and to see what they're capable of. Uh, our last piece is a little more up tempo than the last one and the kids might like it a little bit. I'm going to ask them to remember that this is a loud space. So. <laughs> uh, this is an aftershock. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sesame 
Right there where I belong. 
like uh, Henry said, that uh, he they got this group all together, and this I guess is a music teacher's dream to have kids that just put together ensembles and just do whatever, <laughs> go out there and man, they're just this group of kids, as Mr. Burke said, is just fabulous to work with, and uh, we do all sorts of kinds of different music, as you're as you're about to hear. The Chamber Seniors group uh, focuses more on the classical side of music. Uh, with your uh, pieces from the Renaissance um, and uh, African American spiritual at the end, and we just do all different good things. But um, some people have a, a different opinion of how music education works in schools. And uh, our philosophy at St. Great Falls High School is one that is, uh, follows a model that was started in, in Wisconsin called Comprehensive Musicianship Through Performance. And it's not just about learning the notes on a piece of music and performing it and getting it ready for the next um, concert. What we do is we, we teach the kids through the music about the importance of connection to either the uh, words of the piece or uh, the uh, melody of the piece where it came from uh, or what we call a composer's craft. What was the composer really thinking when he wrote this? And students are finding at St. Gray Falls that some of the music that they may listen to nowadays on the radio quite isn't as quality music as what we do when we sing. Because it's easy to pick apart and, and there's not intentional things that are going on there. And so this comprehensive musicianship through performance is starting to spread throughout the United States. And uh, I'm so glad to have uh, found uh, a colleague that believes so strongly in that as, as much as I do. And uh, we can do pretty much all styles of music our first piece we have for you uh, is called Il est bel et bon, and it is a French piece from the Renaissance by Pierre Passereau. The translation is that there is some women talking, and they're talking, and one woman says to the others, my husband is great. He does not. He does all the chores. He, he takes care of me. He doesn't even beat me. And towards the end of the piece, you'll hear what we what are chickens clucking in the background? Or is that the women themselves? <laughs>
piece that you heard uh, was a piece written by a 21st century composer, Eric Whitaker. He began writing that piece for what he called his first virtual choir, where he had people from all over the world audition on YouTube um, a part, and he chose them, and they had uh, 1,320 voices, I believe, that sang this piece of music um, in a virtual choir as he conducted them all. Uh, very cool thing. Uh, we actually performed a piece from Eric Whitaker last year called The Seal Lullaby. You heard me talking about the CMP model that we use in our education. And uh, we actually contacted Eric Whitaker um, uh, about the piece of music we were singing and uh, wanted a little inspiration um, and told him we were getting ready. The piece called The Sea of Lullaby was written for a animation film that was pick picked up by DreamWorks Pictures. They later dropped that to make Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> um, so students in, uh, in choir class uh, kind of took on the project of creating either a movie poster, a movie trailer, uh, some sort of thing that connected them to the piece about the seal lullaby, and it's a Roger Kipling uh, poem. Lo and behold, he contacted us and said that he would be in town in Minneapolis and St. Paul around our spring concert. The kids were excited. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> We're performing the composer's piece that's very well known, and he's going to be in your concert. Well, he uh, did not get to time to come to the concert, but he did write a nice letter to our students uh, saying, you know, thank you for bringing my music to life. And it's that connection piece that we're talking about. This next piece written by another living composer, Stephen Paulus, The Road Home, um, is currently our, working on this piece uh, for our next festival, which is Tuesday when we get home. And uh, The Road Home is a very poignant words, and we hope you enjoy Stephen Paulus's The Road Home.
So we certainly appreciate the opportunity to be able to come here and truly we just it's an absolute joy for me to come back and, and see some faces that I think I remember from four years ago. But you know, as one of my sixth graders walked into school this year and said, Mr. Goodwinson, who's gonna replace you next year? And I said, Do you know something I don't? <laughs> I said, Well, my mom says you're really old and you're gonna retire next year. <laughs> that's the first time that's happened. <laughs> So, uh, but yes, uh, thank you so very much. And uh, this next piece called The Storm Is Passing Over um, uh, is written by, uh, it's uh, arranged by Tin Lee. The piece was actually written for a uh, march uh, put on by Dr. Martin Luther King and uh, a freedom march that took place. And it spanned the test of time uh, over many, many years. And uh, our arrangement with the jazz band tonight is written by a colleague of ours back in Unity High School, which is in Balsam Lake, in Milltown, in Centuria. Mr. Scott Hensiak is his name. He's an Eau Claire grad. And he just, you know, one night said, hey, I want to write a, an arrangement for this piece. Would you guys sing it? And he said, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> and in a couple hours, he pumped this little arrangement up for us. So uh, we're so glad to bring you our, our, our finale, uh, St. Gray Falls. We hope this all works through the whole concert. And we'll be home soon. We miss you. And thank you so very much. Music is such a wonderful universal language. And uh, we, we don't have to speak the same language. You don't even have to have the same state hand signs. Um, I didn't believe you, Mr. Burke, but after I did that, I was about ready to be walked out of here. Um, but uh, really, to come together, uh, we've rehearsed this one time. And uh, I know it's going to go great because 
It's about bringing people together with the love of music, and you're here enjoying music. We hope you enjoyed this evening, and uh, certainly if you would like to help us offset a little bit of our costs on our tour, um, the tour is fundraised and are supported by our parents, and uh, we certainly could use a little help in offsetting some of that cost, if you feel so. If you don't, that's okay, too, but really do so. Okay, <laughs> so thank you so very much, and we bring to you uh, Mr. Tinley's The Storm is Passing Over.
this. What do you want to be like? Oh, like oh, 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 this is nothing. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I love I you love guys. <laughs> bye bye, Mama. See you soon, Mama. Mama. Yeah, he did. Anybody else want to say goodbye to their family? Say hi to their family. Bye, Dad. Wait, wait. Here, bye, Dad. Bye. Mitchell, I hope what? you like it. <laughs> <Mitchell. laughs> Anybody else want to say hi to their family before they go? In case their families are still on. <laughs> say hi to your family before you hi. go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the kids all want to say hi to their families in case they're still on. I didn't turn it off yet. Want me to? Anybody else? Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Ready along. You, you folks can be so proud of your instructors and your kids. That was fantastic. Thanks for letting them come. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there we All right. Okay. Thank you. Stop. We're signing off now. Go by. See. Go by. <laughs> bye, Grandma. Bye, dear. Bye, everybody.